Hey, sis. Yeah, I'm talking to you. No, but for real, for the black women that's in my comments, that's listening, that's like, sis, yes, this is the message. Hey, even if you don't agree, I don't need agreements. That's not what I'm here for at all. But I'm going to let you black women know something, that this is not the space for you to come on here with your quote-unquote self-loving self and suggest to other black women that they allow other races to begin to subjugate and take over the black man's position in their life. In layman's terms, don't come on my page telling other black women to date outside their race to find something better. This is not the space for that. This is the space for healing amongst black people. We're all grown. You can date who you date. You can marry who you marry, love who you love. Cool. If that's a suggestion that you have for that person, tell them that on a page, not on here. Because that suggestion, to me personally, does nothing but remove us farther away from what it is that I am looking to do on this platform, which is to heal the broken magnets between the black man and the black woman while restoring us back to our Eastern mindset as a black woman. See, even though some of us were here before because some of the natives are Negro, we have an Eastern mindset and an Eastern custom that's been ripped away from us, not only from slavery and oppression, but due to the fact that we want to be like other nations. So the Most High removed his hand from us. So when black women offer themselves up as tribute to the same people who literally raped pillaged them, abused them, and sold them off, and then say, well, black men have done that too. That tells me how broken black women truly are in their consciousness. See, as a black woman, I can never speak about a black man in the same sentence as another race because I'm under the belief system that the most broken black man has something about him that can be rebuilt because of whom he's attached to. Now, if you decide to co-mingle and to cohabit with someone else, that's perfectly fine. However, it's my suggestion for black women, instead of finding so much fault in your black man that you want to replace them with somebody that's going to let you be loud, let you walk over them, let you curse at them, let you walk in front of them in the street, let you pay the bills and do whatever, let you be the strong black woman that you're seeking to be, because that's honestly a lot of black women's problems. They don't want a man that's going to be dominant. They don't want a man that's going to be firm in how he feels, firm in his culture, firm in his standard, firm in how he rules and controls his atmosphere. The problem with a lot of black women is that we begin to mistake control and abuse with one another and a man having control of his atmosphere does not make him a man that controls you he's controlling that which takes place in his atmosphere and because we have a problem listening to authority which is the black man oh when we got a problem with saying that we have a problem with listening to authority and listening to headship and listening to leadership. I'm going to tell y'all something. My daughter 18. My son is 11. I don't let her talk to him and handle him any type of way and vice versa. But I let her know he's a boy. There are things that he feels, things that he sees, and a certain type of authority that he has on the inside of him. That you will not dishonor and that you will not emasculate. So, hey, black woman, as a mother... As the voice of wisdom in the earth realm, you're not going to come over here in Jacoya's space and be unruly and tear down the black man. Because just as he's foundation, we're builders of the home. In the Bible, it talks about a woman that can tear her home down. And that's what a lot of us have done. If I'm still killing out magnets on the inside of me, and I have the mindset that I have. I can just imagine the destruction, hell, chaos that some of you guys have wreaked havoc. But I'm just letting you know we're here to grow with one another and to grow each other. So I'm not going to let you come over here with that broken mindset and thinking that you hold, sis. Because you're not. 
If you call a woman a pick me because she knows her role in society and her role in a home, then you're further removed from being an amazing woman than you think that you are. If you cannot listen, if you cannot be silent, if you cannot be accountable and responsible, if you always have to deflect and bring the black man into the equation when the black woman is being held accountable, then sick you are, and I hope you get healing. And just because you went to school does not make you educated because an educated woman knows when to be silent. An educated woman knows when to speak. An educated woman knows that her tone, her tenor, her decorum, the way that she carries herself will begin to shake rooms and shift atmosphere. An educated woman also knows that a lot of the people that you're telling us to go out and date are the same people that water down your sea line. Get yourself together, sis. It's okay. We're here to heal. Food for thought.